Hi, Mitz here. Um, I'm just going to show you how to make a theme in Artistia. Okay, now the first thing when we open up the program is that this comes up and um, you have to choose which one you want. So we want WordPress, okay, you might want something else, you never know, but we, I'm going to click on WordPress. Um, here's some things that I have been doing before so you can always go back to here and click on something that you've been doing so at this time I'm just going to click on WordPress now <coughs> it comes up with um, something already and um, you can just press on suggest design and it'll change like this um, now these graphics here you can only use them on your personal websites so um, you need to um, either remove them or put your own graphics there um, yeah you could probably get away with using a computer one or something and changing it a little bit I'll just show you uh, where are the pictures oh here they are here so they've got all these pictures here um, you can you know well basically you're not allowed to sell them or anything like that they come with this okay so um, it'd be better if you didn't use them even though they're great and they're very handy um, it'd be better if they weren't used but um, <coughs> we need to show people how to change the header anyway because they're gonna wanna put their own in there so that's one thing about it alright let's just say no photo for that <coughs> um, what else have we got we don't really wanna make a banner either I mean a header either because someone will want to put theirs in like I said now um, what I want to do is try and make blogs like um, you know WordPress themes that look like um, those blogger ones and stuff <coughs> um, the same kind of colors like black gray and all that you know and red and stuff like that <coughs> now the other thing is that there's a few settings that we have to do so in here under export we'll go to export options okay so we go through the options here okay author's name right we're gonna put WordPress website builder now make sure that's our thing there make sure it has um, the correct spelling and then we have to have so basically you're putting a link back to your website so I'll put word press dash website builder dot com now we need to check it and make sure it's right okay that looks okay and template version you can put anything you like in there um, take this one out and put um, wordpress <coughs> website theme okay and everything's fine there so let's go on to the next section WordPress show the home item okay yes that's fine you can change these things but home item caption is home um, now the horizon horizontal menu source you can choose um, categories or pages now I put pages up there this one here, the vertical mem uh, menu, I usually take out because um, you don't really need it. Right, so watermark, no watermark, okay, because we're giving these away for free, or well, whatever. Footnote, it says include a backlink to the author and include a link to the CMS or content management system. So we're going to untick that, okay right we're just going to leave a link to the author and that's it so press OK so the settings are done for that okay now um, so what you do is you go and do the usual thing the menu this that blah 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 now to remove that um, side menu 
Well, see, you've got all these choices here of columns and stuff like that. Now, <coughs> and you can do all the sorts of things here. Now, let's go to the menu section and then go to layout. Okay. Um, we're looking for that side menu thing, aren't we? No, that's the wrong menu. Okay, vertical menu we're looking for. This is the one. I want to take it out. So we go to vertical men menu and then no. Okay, and it's going to take it out. So it's taken the vertical men menu out. Right. <coughs> so we'll go back here and just press on this and it, and it changes the websites just like that. Now simple ones are good too. This would be nice. I mean this is quite nice. Now make sure you don't make them too skinny as well. So we'll go to the sheet size which is here and it's got width. Now this is 900. I would say that 900 would be the minimum but I like to make them a thousand okay which is definitely going to fit on someone's screen so that's fine. Um, yeah something like this is nice actually and um, with the text it could be it gets really detailed if you start changing all the text yourself so I would go to the fonts section and say suggest fonts so it cha changes them for you so um, see how they just you can just see and see if something nice comes up <coughs> okay so something like that or I, I actually like the first one that it had but that's nice you can see what suits it and you can go here and um, click on font sets and it changes the whole set okay so once we've got the um, thing looking good um, what we're going to do is oh, well, you're going to go through all those things and have a look and change stuff now um, the next thing is that um, we've changed the settings so that's good um, the next thing is to just save it as something okay so we press on save and it'll ask just wait a second it'll ask where to save it so what we're going to do is name it we're going to go um, so basically we would have to describe what this is so it's um, a plain orange um, we'll just call it plain orange. You've got to give everything a name so you can remember what it is. So later on there might be plain orange um, number two and all that stuff so it could go on. Now um, so we just call it something so plain under dash orange <coughs> and there we go. Now when you're doing it make sure you um, name it correctly and um, also spell it correct correctly because when they I install it they're going to see that okay so I press save so now <coughs> we have saved a copy of it that we can edit any time we like and now we're going to export it okay Whoop, wait a minute all you have to do is press on export just up here export and it'll come up and say name of it and it's plain orange um, path where do you want to save it yep that's fine and we're saving them as zip um, archives okay um, I mean if you wanted to edit it later well we can always open it up and unzip it or whatever so what we're going to do is just press on export and that is it it's ready right to upload into WordPress and use so that's how easy it is um, <coughs> that's all we have to do so what we want to do is make some good ones <laughs> so the best way to find a good one is to go around the internet and get some good ideas so I'm sure you've been to some good websites uh, where are we? Um, like I like this one. Do you know what I mean? Simple, right? Okay. Um, see how they've got the links, how big they are? I like that. I don't know whether you can do that or not. I'll go down. Um, he's got the date 
big thing like that. I don't know about that. But um, that's a plug-in, so we put that in. This here is um, oh, at the. It's a foot. It's the header of the um, article. That's what it's called in the settings. Um, this is Tyrone Shum's um, website. I really like it. It's nice. Um, he's got Google search up the top here. He's got. Um, it's pretty well done. Um, pretty much like Yarrow um, Starix, uh blog as well. And then he's got the ads down here. That's just a plug-in. You can get that. That's fine. Um, so basically, um, yeah, we'll start making them. Okay, let's go. <laughs> See you later.